Okay, I'm going to show you my favorite way to open a uh, MB Viewer link in a Jupyter Lab. Uh, so somebody's you know shared a uh, MB Viewer link like this. It contains some rendered notebook, perhaps. <clears throat> um, and now you just want to you want to run this yourself. Well, you you could go here and download this and then drag it into your Jupyter Lab. Um, but I like to uh, do this instead. So I'm in my Jupyter Lab here. I do. Uh, I usually have a terminal open, but we'll just go to File Open Terminal, <clears throat> and um, I'm in this testing directory here. So I can CD to testing, um, and then I can do. Uh, if I go back over here to the notebook link, this download button on the right. If I click this, it, it just shows me the text file. Um, but the URL here. Is, is the raw gist. So I can click in there if I want to do a control A, control C to make sure I've got the whole thing. I can go back over here in my terminal and do W get and then just drop that link with a control V on here. And now I've got uh, this notebook here. If I uh, refresh the uh, page here, I see my notebook. I can open it up and it looks the same. Uh, and I can go uh, ahead and run it. Actually, you know, often I have to, uh, if you've just downloaded an MB Viewer notebook, you often have to go and change the kernel to something, um, you know, that's going to be capable of running that, that has the packages that it needs. Um, in this case, uh, let's say I've got this, uh, this notebook here, or this kernel here, I'm going to select it. Uh, and then I should go kernel uh, restart clear all outputs, and then go and kernel restart run all cells. Actually, close this down to uh, give myself a little more real estate here, and uh, and then um, run run all cells, and um, just to prove that this is uh, going to be running here, we'll just go ahead and you can see the package is importing, uh, and here we're opening up uh, some uh, a data set from uh, uh, a bucket, and uh, there's our data set. That's it.